Hello guys, welcome back to our channel here in Maestro Electrico. And for today's topic, we have the three bulbs controlled by three single pole switch individually. And of course, before we are going to proceed on the actual wiring connections, we need first to have a better understanding about the three cycles of current flow in the circuit. And of course, to undergo the basic diagrams of the three bulbs controlled by three single pole switches individually. Now, take note in the three things to be done. First, from source to load. Second, from load to control device. Third, from the control device to the source. Meaning, source to load, load to control device, control device to the source. So that is the three cycles of current to flow. Now, how are we going to apply the three cycles of current to flow in the wiring diagram? In the first cycle, of course, we will start from the line one. Meaning to say, line one here, we will use it as our uh, neutral line. So from source, we have line one here, which is the neutral line. Then bulb A, B, and C. Uh, we will give a supply on the other load of the circuit, this one, then do this one, and then for this one also. Alright. Then, one, two, and three. We need to say three wires are being combined. We have from the line one, I mean from the source, from the load, which is A, then this is intended for B, this one. Then we will also give another supply wires to our bulb C. So bulb C here, bulb C, one, two, two wires. Then here, and also here. We need to say three wires also right here, one, two, and three. This is for our first cycle. Uh, first cycle, first cycle, and also another first cycle. So one, two, three, because uh, we have bulb A, B, and C for the first cycle. Now, for the second cycle, of course, uh, bulb A to be controlled on location number one, bulb B look to be uh, controlled by location number two, bulb C to be installed or controlled by location number three. Now, for bulb A, of course, location number one here, uh, we will do like this. Okay? One. One, two, second cycle. Right? So, bulb B to be controlled on the second location. Okay. We will do this one also here. Two wires connected together. One, two. This is still on the second cycle. Alright? Next, bulb C to be controlled on location number 3 using the single pole switch right? we have right here. Then, this one. 1, 2, meaning this is also our second cycle for the third time. So, we will now proceed on our uh, third cycle. Okay? For the third cycle, we have from the from the load or from the control device i'm sorry from the control device going back to the source line okay so we will give a live wire each of these wires right here this one so we, what what should we gonna do here we will do this like this one all right uh, we can start right here okay so here this is our third cycle already so this is third cycle we have this third cycle right here. Third. Okay. So for this top, for this one, okay. Jumper right here, meaning they are not connected to each other. So one, two, and three. One, two, three, three wires connected together. So this is our third, third cycle. 
the next we have it here like this then this one so still we have one two three three wires and this is our final third cycle in order for us to complete our circuit okay so now we will proceed on our uh, actual wiring connections okay so in our actual wiring connections we have here let us check the parts of the three bulbs controlled by three uh, single pole switches individually we have here the circuit breaker we have here the melt plug using for our source line to connect then we have of course the three bulbs the three receptacles three junction boxes we have here the three single pole switches and of course we have our multi-tester test with our circuit okay so as we check uh, two wires coming from the load two wires coming from the load two wires also here two wires coming from the single pole switch two wires also coming from the other single pole switch and the third single pole switch we still have two wires also then as you could observe uh, we have here the two pieces of wires for the other branch of the circuit as well as also here right here we have also two wires now to start with of course it should be off like this then we will start the actual wiring connection so only we have to remember the three cycles of current to flow in the circuit in the first cycle we have from source to load second cycle from load to control device third cycle from the control devices to the source line using our circuit breaker okay so again we will start here uh, in this uh, two pieces of wires coming from the source line so we have here an indicator we put some um, indicator here a, a little bit of an electrical tape that means that this indicator or this indicates the 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 hot line or the the hot line or the light wires so meaning to say this one is our uh, neutral line so we will start from line one meaning to say that is the neutral line so we're gonna find it first as to which part of the receptacle coming from the bulb is intended for the connections of the neutral load line for our first cycle of course we're going to use the multi-tester we will we will find first the the connections intended for the uh, neutral line connection so we have it here now we only have to check right here right beside the shell of the bulb right here then we'll check the continuity of the bulb going to the wires it's not the one so we need to say this is our neutral line connections another no meaning this is the neutral line connection so the first neutral neutral and this one the other one here so we need to say this is our neutral so we will check this one again to check this one neutral line right here okay meaning there is a continuity between the shells of the bulb through the wires meaning this is intended for our neutral line connection so this is our first cycle connections right here Okay, so we will start. So from source to load of the circuit. Since we have three loads, of course, we need to give another supply of wires right here. This one. So this wire right here. Okay. Then we will now connect the wires. The three wires. This is intended for our first cycle, this one. Okay, first cycle on the bulb A, then this wire for the bulb B, then another piece of wire, this one. Okay, so this one intended for the bulb C. Hold this tight right here, then twist the wire. This is what we call a rat tail. A joint only the basic one the basic uh, 
splicing technique. Then for the last first cycle, we have it here. Then splice the wires. Okay. So our first cycle has been done. First cycle here and first cycle also here. So we will move on our uh, second cycle. The second cycle's uh, indications for the conditions as to where the bulbs are to be controlled. Now, in our case, uh, in our discussions here, bulb A to be controlled on location number one, bulb B to be controlled on location number two, bulb C to be controlled on location number three. Okay, so here we go. So we have here from load to control device. So we only have to choose at least one out of here wires okay so we only have to choose one so this one then twist the wire to connect each other okay and remove some other particles right here All right next bulb b to the switch again you can choose any of this coming from the switch line then from the load for our second cycle on the bulb b all right then okay so that's it for our second cycle of bulb b then we will proceed on the last one we have here from load to control device any of these wires coming from the control device then connect each other to execute our second cycle on the bulb c bulb c only all right from bulb c this one all right next we will now proceed on our third cycle the third cycle is is that coming from the control device going back to the source line so uh, we will start on the bulb c so you can observe we only have one left wires coming from wire coming from our uh, control device and also one wire also coming from this supply wire so we will connect each other just to connect this one guys this one here then this wire is coming from that uh, connections will be connected going to our uh, control device this one and also the other wires coming from this point all right so three wires also right here uh, you can check actually the connections of this with our uh, discussions on the diagram of three bulbs controlled by a three single pole switch individually so this is it three wires also right here so three wires then the last part we have here we have this wire and of course the last portion of the wires which is the live wire coming from our circuit breaker down to our source line which is the uh we use the main plug in first to insert with our uh outlet okay so this is it then pull this tight then join it together three wires also right here so three wires being connected together as last part of our third cycle in the circuit so we have this one all right so next we're what we are going to do is to uh insulate our connections of this one Okay, then 
put some electrical tape right here. Okay? For electrical safety. Electrical connection safety purposes. Right here. Then do this one. Then cut using your hand only. Okay, next. This one. Right here. Cut. Another one here. Okay. Cut. And then. Next. Then, lastly, this one. So, we have done with our uh, insulation process. Then, we will now uh, put inside the junction box all our wiring connections. So, okay, secure this one inside. Then, put the electrical box cover. Okay. Okay, so before we energize, of course, we will try to check it first with its uh, functionality using the multi-tester only. So we have here times times one only testing. Let's check. Uh, switch on. Um, test prods, of course, uh, to be installed like this. Then we will switch on the circuit breaker. Okay. So based on our multi-tester, there's no reading, meaning uh, the switches are still off on that part. So we'll try to switch on our first um, bulb. So as you can observe, the multi-tester is moving, meaning giving the resistance of the bulb A. Then it should be having a little bit of a decrease in its resistance value because of the second bulb to be switched on right now decreasing meaning there is a second bulb so the more the loads in the circuit the lower the resistance the lower the resistance the higher the current needs to supply right that is according to the Ohm's law theory so third uh, bulb we got we're going to switch now meaning at this point around 200 ohms 
uh, it should be decreased around how to how many ohms okay so it's been decreasing around 110 already from 200 okay so three volts already are being switched so the higher the resistance the lower the current needs the lower the resistance the higher the current needs okay so that is the ohm's law theory next we are gonna off first one it backs on 200 ohms let us to off the third one it is around 500 ohms right here then back to zero ohms or uh, infinity okay so meaning to say there is no such any problem with our circuit so i think uh we can uh, energize now our circuit using this metal plug right here to insert in our uh, convenience outlet right here okay so let us try to check the functionality on on first bulb uh, first of course we are going to switch on our circuit breaker like, like this up position meaning that is an on position okay so first bulb wow okay second bulb good third bulb very good okay so three bulbs controlled by three single pole switch individually so in bulb a to be controlled on the first location bulb b on the second location and for the bulb c on the third location so let us check on bulb b let's try to off off bulb c off very good bulb a pretty good then switch it on all the bulbs then switch off using the circuit breaker very good all right so